Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at this Craftsman model M100 lawnmower that I picked up at Lowe's today. Let's get it out of the box and see what we've got. Okay, so in the box of course is the mower and it's all pretty much assembled. We just have to fold up the handle and lock it in place. There's a few things that it comes with. You can see there's some documentation and a side chute if you want to use the side discharge option. It comes default with the mulching panel attached. And then of course it comes with a bottle of oil that we'll need to put in before we start it as well. So the paperwork includes a quick start guide, an instruction manual for the engine itself, which on this unit is a Briggs & Stratton, and then an operator manual for the mower itself, and then warranty information here. So I'm gonna get the handle up and put in place. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is remove these wing nuts and get the carriage bolts out of here. So now I'll just swing this up into place. So next up, we're gonna to wanna to remove these two thumb screws, one on this side and one on this side. Next up, I'm gonna pull the handle up about eight inches or so until the next set of holes lines up with these holes. Now I can reinstall these thumb screws. So next up, I'll fold the handle out so it's straight and the holes in the upper part of the handle line up with the slot in the lower part. And we're gonna to wanna to install these so that the head of the bolt faces the inside of the bracket so that the flat on the carriage end goes into the slot. So I don't know if your mower will be like this or not, but on mine, it seems like the hole that is on the upper part of the handle is a little small for the bolt. It wasn't either deburred properly or there's a little bit of paint or something on there. So I'm just gonna tap it in gently with a rubber hammer. Now I can put the wing nut back on. So next up, I'm gonna loosen this thumb screw on the pull cord hook. I just wanna leave this loose. I don't wanna take it all the way out. Then what I'll do is pull the pull cord up and I'll kind of get this wrapped around the hook. We'll let that kind of stay in position and then tighten this up. Next up, I'm gonna remove the oil filler cap and I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver inserted in the cap there to kind of loosen it. Okay, so we'll set this aside and grab a funnel. And I'm gonna put the entire contents of this bottle in the crankcase. So the mower is set up for mulching sort of by default with this cover that's here. If you want to use the included side discharge chute and not mulch, all you have to do is open up the mulching cover and then take the two tabs that are on the inside of the side discharge chute there and then just sort of position them underneath the hinge of the mulching cover here and then drop this down into place and it just kind of holds itself there. There's no fasteners or anything required to use that. So I don't plan to use the side discharge chute, so I'm gonna set that aside. So the height of the mower is adjustable. There's a lever on the right front wheel and one on the right rear wheel, not on the other side, that you use to raise and lower either the front and back or both. Hopefully you can see in the camera, there are numbers etched in the plastic here. Now by default, the mower is set to one, which is the lowest setting. I wanna set mine to three. So I'm gonna grab this lever, squeeze it towards the wheel and then just kind of lift up on the deck a little bit and then slide it up to three like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the back wheel as well. Okay, so that's it for the setup. Let's get some fuel in this thing and fire it up. So I'm gonna push the primer bulb a few times just to get things moving. Of course, I'll pull back on the safety handle and give it a pull and see what happens. So before I give you my first impressions after using the mower a little bit here in the yard, 
First I'll tell you guys why I bought it. Now you can see I've got this old yard machines mower, I think it is, over here. Um, and I've been using that for about 16 or 17 years now to do what I'll call my finish mowing, you know, some areas where I can't fit with the rider. And I've also got a steep part of my yard that I just can't use the rider on. So towards the end of the last mowing season, this one started to get unreliable. So it got to the point where I was kind of fooling with this mower for 20 or 30 minutes before I could actually use it to mow the lawn. So it's tired, it's old, time to replace it. And that's where this came in. Now this wasn't the least expensive mower that they had at Lowe's, but it was one of the least expensive ones and smallest ones, which is what I wanted. All I need it for, like I said, is finish mowing around the edges where the rider can't get and that one steep hill that I have in my yard. Now the large wheels on the back are a bonus compared to the old one because it makes going up and down that hill just a little bit easier. Now another thing I like about the new mower that the old mower doesn't have is the adjustable height wheels. So I can just quickly raise or lower the deck if I need to do that. And of course being a brand new mower it runs nice and smooth, starts on the first pull unlike that thing, and just is a joy to use compared to that old mower. Another thing I like about this new mower is the mulching door here. Now my grass doesn't grow very well in the first place so any nutrients I can put back into it are going to be helpful. But also the fact that this one had the side chute meant that I could only really get close to things on one side. Whereas this one with the mulching door, I can get right up against the edge of the house whichever direction I'm going. Now this mower is a little bigger than the old one, so at first you would think that it would be a little bit heavier. But there's a lot of plastic used on this mower, so I think the weight between the two is about the same. Now if I have to pick one negative about the mower after my first use here is the plastic. I'm not so sure the plastic is going to be quite as durable as the old one here. Like I said, this has lasted 16 or 17 years, and I'm hoping to get the same lifespan out of this, but I guess time will tell. Another feature I like about the mower is sort of the quick collapse handle. I just have to undo the two thumb screws, push it down in, undo these two screws, fold it over, and this will make for storing this thing in the winter just a little bit easier than the old one that has a fixed handle. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this mower. It seems like it's gonna work just fine for what I'm gonna need to use it for. Okay, so that's pretty much all I've got for the Craftsman M100 mower. If you wanna learn more about this mower, there'll be a link down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. If you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.